Hello everyone, Rev Kev coming to you from the Bloom office and I have a special guest with me today, Joanna Stark, who is a wonderful Bloom member and documentary film producer and uh, has been a, a wonderful colleague and um, creative force in the development of a really helpful resource that we want to offer all Bloom folks as well as Bloom friends and we're here to tell you about that very briefly today. Um, it is called a planning ahead document and uh, Joanna, can you give us a little bit of background? When I heard about this project, I was very excited because it was something I didn't know that I needed. And there was so much information that could be put in this that would be helpful for um, the end of life. Uh, but also helpful for organizing things that you don't need specifically at the moment but should come in handy at certain times. It's kind of nice to have a place to put things when you say, I really should put that somewhere. Yeah. You know, I'm going to want that later, I should put that exactly. somewhere. Or somebody's going to want that later, yep. and I should put that. And it's also very helpful to kind of have a document, uh, a, a tool like this that a family can use later on and you can answer the question uh, positively of like why didn't we ever do that well actually you did that and here it is so can now, you orient us a little bit more yeah. um, I think one of the things that um, is, is so beneficial about this is it is almost a gift to your descendants when that time comes and you're no longer here they can go to this book and know exactly where to find things and what your final wishes are. One thing we need to point out, this is not a legal document. And what does that sort of thing look like? And this is um, An a estate trust. planner, a right, trust. Right, estate planner. These are all your li legal documents. This is the companion to the legal documents. It will tell you where to find those legal documents and where to find information that will be helpful in settling your estate. Absolutely. So let's look inside. It's called Planning Ahead, Important Information and Personal Wishes is what the title of this book is. And I have to say, Joanna and others have been providing extensive volunteer hours for several years as we have uh, developed this it's it's something that has been in progress and we're so pleased that it is ready to be offered um, on a uh, ready to be offered um, to folks so help us out here a little bit what's in here well we've organized these by different categories there's first of all there's an in introduction that tells you how to actually use the book. And then there's your personal information. Where were you born? Who were your parents? Who did you marry? Who are your children? Um, and as we go along, we find there's a section um, specifically on dependents, who your dependents are. Are your dependents still living with you? Do they need to have special care uh, provided for them? Also your pets, what's going to happen to your pets? Um, and then there's businesses that you've had, um, your medical information, um, and medical information for those descendants that are, are still living with you, um, financial uh, information, and it's not specifically the information other than telling you where to look. That's it. It's like, where do we find this stuff? Where what, do we find it? Right. Where, what should right. I be looking at? What are, right. the, you know, what are the accounts? What are the passwords? Right. What are those kinds of things that become very important yes. at a time when people are very, uh, you know, it's not a bad thing to be distracted with grief. And, that, and yet, all of a exactly. sudden, you're supposed to have all these details that you thought that somebody would remember. And yeah. here, it's a helpful resource to uh, have them all in one place. And all your contacts. Yeah. Who is your b banker? Who is your attorney? How do they get in touch with the people that hold the mortgage on your house? Those, all of that information would be in here as well. So it may feel like it's a big homework assignment, and it is. But the fact of the matter is, it's the kind of thing that people will be really happy that you uh, took care of ahead of time. I know that there are um, uh, 
phrases now that are like, you've organized your life your whole life. You've run your own life your whole life. Well, it is also important for us in this day and age to also be organized and have a say about the way we um, manage our end of life. And this is something that's helpful with that. I want to say a little bit of uh, a word um, that it is also a place where you can indicate your intentions for charitable giving and for your planned giving as a part of your estate. And there are in Bloom's ministries, uh, members of Bloom and, and non-members who have decided to include Bloom in their legacy planning. We call that the Sunflower Circle. And if anybody wants to have some further information about being a part of the Sunflower Circle on Bloom's behalf, uh, you can certainly talk with me about that. So that's another aspect. And it, 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 there is space in here for all of the charitable giving that you might plan to uh, do. Indicating who your executor is. Uh, is another um, important factor. And then, what, what are these things back here? Uh, well, there's these envelopes, these, these uh, packets. There's all kinds of information that you include, could include in here. Um, perhaps a favorite picture that you would like to have uh, displayed. Um, family pictures that are important to you that your descendants would find inter interesting, um, your birth certificate, your passport, um, your vehicle um, certification of title, any news clippings uh, about your history, any music that you particularly like. Well, and in that case, this also has a place where you can provide an indication to your heirs, to your family members of what you would like for a memorial service or not like for a memorial service. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't want to have one. You can certainly indicate your wishes here, but and maybe you would like to have one and you're very specific about what you want it to look like and how you want it to go. Mm -hmm. And you can include those details in, 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 in another sec section um, of this. So this has a wide variety of applications. Um, and there's planning ahead aspects, and then there are aspects for at the time of passing. And there are advice um, pages in here that, that give good indication for making those particular plans of, of how you want things to be handled um, at that time. Obviously, this is not the topic that we all want to talk about all the time. <laughs> right. But it is a topic that is uh, a reality. Uh, in in our lives. As I often say in memorial services, no one knows uh, why death comes, when it does, and how it does. But there is something that one can control, and that's what sort of information and help that we provide to our heirs and to our um, our loved ones who are taking care of things when we've stepped into eternity, right. when we've moved on. Um, and that being the case, something like this is very helpful. Um, I want to say a personal thank you to oh, Joanna for goodness. taking this on. And, and there are so many people. Bill Davison uh, in our congregation. I know that uh, other members of the congregation reviewed documents uh, and so forth. So this is a resource um, that is very helpful and available. So Joanna, is there anything more you'd like to include about the book? Yes, actually there is. You know, I hear a lot of people say, I don't want to be a burden to my family, to my children, and this is what's going to help take away some of that load. It's going to make it easier because everything they're going to need is right here. That's so um, these are available, and we hope that uh, if you want to have one, feel free to contact me at the church office, Rev Kev at bloominthedesert.org. Or you can email the office by uh, info at bloominthedesert.org, and we're happy to provide these. We are asking for a donation of $30 uh, in order to cover the costs of producing the booklet, and we're very grateful for everyone who has uh, already done that thus far and for those who are saying that they're going to want to uh, do that in the near future. So uh, feel free to contact us, and we know this will be helpful to you. Mm -hmm.